Yeah, it's... You would think it would be under... Shut up, phone! <laughs> God damn it. I'm gonna have to edit this out. <sighs> Hello my fellow gamers, my name is Jason and welcome to Gamer Central. So today really isn't a gaming video, but I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use OBS to record videos and live stream. Let's get into it. Alright, so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to properly install um, OBS, how to uh, Add scenes to help you record gameplays, how to use uh, the face cam features, and uh, how to live stream using OBS. So um, to start off, what you need to do is uh, go on to the magical world of Google and Google OBS if you have not done so already and download it. So you go there, um, go to download, and then uh, if, you, if you're using um, Mac, Windows, or Linux, I've never heard of a Linux computer ever. But uh, yeah, if you're running Windows, just install that. But I already have that installed. So um, yes, I believe it gives you the option to... Uh, oh, shoot. No, I don't want that. Please go away. <laughs> All, right. All right. So anyway, um, once you have OBS installed, which is right here, double click, open it up. Please open. All right. So what you see here, um, this stuff isn't normally here, so pretend this stuff isn't here at all. So, um, this is pretty much just a blank slate. Um, everything is, should, well, everything should be okay. Um, it's normally set to that. Um, yeah, save my changes. Let's see. Let's change everything a little bit. Alright, so that would normally be zero. I changed that for my live streams. Alright, so everything should be pretty much the exact uh, same way you see it. Um, certain Settings are a little bit different because um, I changed them to uh, suit my computer. But uh, yeah, so you can just um, pause the video whenever I scroll through these things just so you can copy uh, the exact same things that I have. So yeah, I'm going to change it to that one so you guys can kind of see. Ignore this stuff. Um, this changes depending on where you live and all that stuff. Streaming service, it's on Twitch. Uh, no, don't save that. All right. Uh, video, this is how I have it. Audio, hotkeys I don't touch. Um, and then there's this. Nothing changed there, nothing, nothing. And then I haven't changed anything else with that. All right, so those are the settings. Um, those are the basic settings that you need. Um, you can change it around uh, to help better suit your uh, computer so you get better quality videos and live streams. So. First off, what you need to do, pretend these things aren't here, is to create a scene. So you right click over over um, in the scenes box, you click add scene, and then you can name it whatever you want, um, t tutorial, and then enter. Alright, so now you have empty sources. So um, let's say, uh, I'm going to open up Minecraft quickly, just because. I'm going to open up Minecraft, yes, play. Alright, so gonna have Minecraft open in the background and then have OBS up right in front. Alright, so let's say you want to record a Minecraft video for whatever reason. Uh, you right click on sources, add, and then game capture. You can name it Minecraft. Okay, and then you, you click this little drop down menu and then it gives you a little, quite a few things that you can pick from. Uh, you click on Minecraft. Uh, you don't have to change any of these things, click OK. And now, uh, yeah, nothing's really coming up. So what you want to do is click Preview Stream. And then, there you go. Minecraft's coming up. Um, all I have to do is just press Start Recording um, to uh, start recording your gameplay. So, as you can see, there's the little like black border around there, which doesn't look too nice. So what you guys can do is click Edit Scene. And then, um, since this is the only scene, uh, or... Yeah, since it's the only source here, that's the only thing you can edit. So you can just drag this around, you can uh, scale it, but that really isn't working too well. So, um, most people should know this, but if you hold shift and then 
start dragging the stuff, it'll only change that one portion of it. So you can drag it up so it's uh, perfectly even with the uh, top, and then you can do the same with the bottom. Oh, click that, and then you can drag it down like that so it looks perfectly fine. Or you can do something like this. I'm going to move that and make it back to normal. Nope, that's not normal. Not normal yet. Alright, so this back to normal. Another thing you can do that's actually not um, like a given control that they give you, you can hold Alt and then you can crop it. Wait, no, that's not actually working. Hmm. Because you can't do it with that. But uh, yeah, so I guess you can just use Shift and then just stretch it out like that. Alright, so uh, let's say you want face cam. You right click, add a source, uh, video capture device, and then face cam. You can do that. And then, uh, yeah, so this pops up on the screen. You click device, and then you use click webcam if you have one. Um, audio input device, you really don't need that because um, OBS records the voice from, well, if you're using a laptop, it records your voice, but um, yeah, if, if you're using a desktop or anything, you're going to have to hook up a microphone. But uh, you really don't need that too now because, yeah, what am I even saying? You don't even need that now because uh, in the settings, in the default settings, you can set a mic. So you really don't need to do that. Um, leave everything the way it is and then click OK. And then, uh, yeah, there's my face. And, yeah, if you guys watch my uh, live streams, there's none of this stuff around me. And uh, there's my sister's Hello Kitty. Put you over there. All right, so um, yeah, my face cam is extremely big right now, and I have no clue why I have this in. Put that over there. All right, so uh, you can scale this, you can uh, move it around, but um, if you guys watch my live streams and my videos, it's not a huge rectangle like this. So um, yeah, this one you can use the crop feature. So you hold Alt and then you uh, just drag it in to make it look like a little like box thing. So it cuts out. All the rest of that, and uh, it should seem a little familiar now. Um, it's the little box. So, hi. And, uh, yeah, but in my opinion, it looks kind of sloppy without a border around this. So, I'm going to not click that. Yeah, so it looks a little sloppy. So, another thing you can add is a little border around uh, the face cam. So, um, you can Google. Um, you can simply just Google uh, this stuff. Hold on. Let me try to find it. Oh, nope. Don't do that. No, that's not what I want. That's my AP US History Summer Project. Uh, this is a mess. <laughs> it's such a mess right now. All right, so uh, you can just Google um, face cam borders, and then uh, you can get some nice face cam stuff. Ooh, that's actually a pretty nice one. I like that. <laughs> I actually like that one. That one wasn't there when I first got it. Yeah, so um, I used uh, one that's similar to that, but not exactly. Um, but one thing uh, you want to make sure of um, when you uh, find a webcam border is um, you click on search tools, color, and transparent. Um, because if you click on that, uh, you should see little checkerboard patterns not coming up. No. Nope. Hmm. Whatever. But um, typically there's like a little like checkerboard pattern on the back. Um, that means that uh, the background is transparent, so then you can see yourself through the through this picture. So. Um, what you can do uh, after that, ooh, that's an Asian. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, in order to add uh, the border around the face cam, you right click, add image, um, then face, nope, not face cam border, and then uh, you can browse for pictures. All right. So uh, yeah, this is in my Gamer Central folder on my uh, laptop, and then you can open that up, and then yes. Select OK, and now Edit Scene. So you can just drag this around. You can put this wherever you want. You can do that if you really want to. But uh, you can drag this in the corner right here, and then uh, hold Shift so you can uh, edit all sides of it, and then stretch it out, and then there we go. So it's pretty much just a uh, typical uh, video setup for me. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's pretty much uh, the basics of like how to record like a basic uh, gameplay on um, what's it called on on uh, OBS. So, um, yeah, but that's just recording PC stuff. So now I'm going to get into how to record Elgato things. So I'm going to turn off Minecraft right now. I'm going to uh, X that out. Um, hold on, give me a second. Oh, shoot. Going to save and quit. 
All right, so, uh, shoot, I turned my Xbox off. That's not good. All right, well, anyway, um, what you can do is right-click in order to record the Elgato. Um, let's see, video capture device, Elgato. Um, yeah, it's, you would think it would be under... Shut up, phone! <laughs> God damn it. I'm gonna have to edit this out. <sighs> Okay, that was interesting. All right, so uh, now that that is over with, um, we shall resume. So, the Elgato Game Capture HD, uh, it's under video um, capture devices, not uh, game capture devices, which is kind of weird. But uh, you'll see what I'm getting at in a second. So, uh, leave everything the way it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so just use uh, device audio. You don't have to change anything about that. Click OK. Uh oh. What's happening? Why is it doing this? It's frozen. <laughs> Fantastic. Great. Oh, there we go. You got it. Alright, so, uh, as you can see, this is covering my face. And you don't want that. <laughs> so, uh, what you can do is click position. No, not position. What am I saying? Order. And then uh, move to bottom. So uh, your my face always shows up on top. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna turn my Xbox on right now. Can we do that. Turn on, please. All right. So uh, while that turns on, um, this should uh, record be recording my uh, Xbox screen right now. So yep, it's turning on. Oh, and my TV's off. That's not good. Here we go. And it's lagging a little bit because I'm recording this uh, using Snagit. So, yeah, just ignore that. Um, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn that off so uh, you guys can see that it works. Move that up. And turn it off. All right. So, um, that works. Um, that's how you record the uh, Elgato. And um, it's actually kind of strange because you can't have um, the Elgato uh, software open. Um, while doing that, so it, it it is kind of strange, but uh, there's really nothing you can do about that. But um, yeah. So um, if you don't want a uh, face cam, you can just click that right by, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, if you want it back, you can just click these uh little check mark things on the bottom, and then they uh come back up. All right. So uh, now uh, how to record things? All you have to do is just uh, stop the preview. Come on. Stop the preview, please. And then uh, all you have to do is just click start recording. But um, first off, you want to make sure it's going t to the place where you want it to go. So uh, yeah, the file path, you can change that. You can set it um, to uh, just save onto the um, the des desktop um, if you want. But I'm making it send to my uh, videos folder. So yeah, all my stuff is uh, just saving here. These are all like my gameplays and stuff. Um, yeah, so once you change that, all your videos should save there. Um, you don't have to worry about searching for them because they're all going to be in the exact same place. And uh, now I'm going to be talking about how to live stream because that's what you guys want to know, right? You all want to live stream on Twitch and on YouTube and all that stuff. So what you guys want to do is go on to Twitch quickly. Shoot, no, nope, don't do that. Go to Twitch. T. No, 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 no. TV. There we go. Put that over there. And, uh, yeah, so I'm signed into my Gamer Central um, account on Twitch. They pick really um, so what you want to do is go like to Dashboard. Really um, if you don't have a Twitch account, you should, uh, what's it called? You should make a Twitch account in order to live stream on Twitch because that's kind of important. All right, so what you want to do is uh, go to Settings, um, Broadcast Settings, and then click on Mode and change it to Live Stream. So typically, this, the Stream Key, um, would not be there. So, um, yeah, you, you need a stream key in order to stream on, uh, Twitch, and I'll show you how to get that in a second, because that's right there. So, um, the streaming service, you can pick, you can, uh, click custom, or you can stream on YouTube, or whatever these other things are. I've never even heard of these other things. 
well then this twitch so if you want to stream on twitch you'd click on twitch but uh custom i'm not too sure what that is um no so now you have to pick your uh time zone or not really your time zone but uh which city is closest to you so you get um the best quality stream you possibly can um since i live in new york i click on new york new york <laughs> and uh yeah so that'll help you um get a better quality stream so uh yeah, this stuff really isn't too important, but uh, the stream key is extremely important. So, click OK to get rid of that. So, cl click on uh, stream key once you enter the dashboard. And, uh, yeah, I might have to uh, edit this out. I hope I don't. Actually, yeah, I I'm not going to click this, but um, because it's a stream key that's unique to your account. So, um, yeah, if I show off my stream key, then... Uh, People would be able to live stream on my account, which I do not want. So, um, once you click on show key, um, copy and paste everything that comes up. Um, just like the little, like, line of, uh, text that tells you, that tells you to, a uh, copy and paste. You go back to, uh, settings, broadcast settings, and then just copy and paste it into, uh, this little box right here. And then, uh, yeah. So once that happens, uh, you should be perfectly fine to stream. And uh, make sure you don't press uh, start recording. Make sure you press start streaming uh, because I made that mistake quite a few times. And uh, it's kind of embarrassing. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to demonstrate that a little bit. So go to dashboard. Um, dashboard uh, on Twitch, just a little like little rundown on what the dashboard actually does. You can change the title. You can change what game you're playing, uh, what language. And then, uh, yeah, you can actually see the, um, the chat and everything. You can, yeah. So this is pretty much like the basic uh, like area you should be at while on Twitch, especially if you're live streaming. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to uh, live stream like Minecraft or something. But um, one thing that I, I, I do want to uh, tell you guys beforehand is uh, when recording with the Elgato, if you're using, um, I'm not sure about PlayStation, but for, for the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One, um, there's going to be some audio delay. So um, what you guys want to do is click on settings, go to audio, and um, for the Xbox One, um, at least for me, the audio delay is that. So um, you can copy that if you're streaming on the Xbox One. But if you're streaming on the 360, I believe it's uh, 700 milliseconds. I don't remember because I haven't streamed on the uh, 360 in a little while. But it's either 700 or 900. I can't remember the, off the top of my head. But you guys can uh, experiment with that and... Uh, yeah, technically it's not really that important, um, but uh, if you're running face cam and uh, your face is slightly behind or ahead of your voice, it at least for me, it, bo it bothers me a lot. So, um, yeah, you can change that to get your uh, voice synced up with your face cam or um, to get your voice synced up with the uh, reactions um, to uh, certain things that happen during uh, your game or whatever that you're playing. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, it's not really uh, too difficult, in my opinion. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of things here. Because um, I record and stream a lot of things. But, uh, yeah, so um, with other uh, PC games and stuff, you can pretty much do the exact same thing that I do with Minecraft. Um, you can sort of expand and uh, crop anything that you need off of the, uh, the screen. And then uh, you can make it take up the entire space, and, uh, yeah, I'm sorry if this tutorial was slightly difficult to, uh, follow, but I really don't do many tutorials, and, uh, yeah. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this, uh, tutorial. Hopefully it helped, um, and, yeah, hopefully I see some of your videos and live streams in the future, and, uh, if you are gonna be streaming, or, what am I saying, if you're gonna be recording videos and live streaming, um, Thanks to this tutorial, please let me know in the comment section down below. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and Jason out. Goodbye.